Hello everyone and welcome back to ASP.NET Core 1.0. My name is Steve Bishop and in this video we're going to talk about how to change the property display names. So there's not a whole heck of a lot of, to talk about here to get started so I'm just going to hop right into the demo and let's take a look. So we have a tiny bit of a problem here with our form. Our first name label here just says first name with no space in there. Same thing with the last name and phone number. So we kind of want to get the name to have a space in there, but we were using this HTML label for to get the name. So how is it this label for is not getting a very good name for our labels? Well, that's because what's happening is the label for is inspecting our properties of our index with form model, and it's only seeing the name of our properties. So first name, ID, last name, and phone number. But there's no spaces in those properties. But of course we couldn't by any means, you know, put a space in our property because that's just gonna cause some problems, right? We're gonna get some errors with that. So we still wanna keep that, but we want it to show up properly in our form. And the proper, the, the way to do this is actually pretty simple. We're just gonna add another attribute on our uh, on our properties, and that's going to be the display attribute. And the display attribute, you can pass in a name parameter. So we're going to say name equals, and we're going to set it to the literal string first space name. And then let's just do the same thing for the last name. So we'll do display name equals last name and same thing for phone number and again this is another really good reason why you, you would want to split up your models from your view models right because if we were doing this all on our model then there's a lot of stuff that our model is doing besides just defining our database schema so we want to do it uh, here because then hey, maybe we want it to display a little different maybe instead of first name with a capital F and capital N. Maybe I want it to be lowercase and uh, first name and name. So uh, just something to, to think about when you're making sure that you're doing view models here. So display name equals phone number. Okay, so let's go ahead and save that and let's rerun our application. And now we have the spaces here, so that's good. Maybe we want to put some some colons there. So let's try that. And I don't need to exit out of that because I'm just going to go right into my index with form view. And I can just reload the view from here. I don't need to actually shut down my application to do this. So I'd want a colon there. And I want a colon there. And I want a colon there and another one there but we're seeing a problem here if i expand the window out a little bit remember how i was saying that the colon is an indicator that it should not uh, that whatever follows that colon should be literal text so if we take a look at this this is going to be problematic we're going to get some problems with loading this page because it's not interpreting this correctly at all. It turns out what you can do is you can wrap things up in a text uh, in a text tag. So if we do text text then we can do the same thing throughout our application. So I'm going to leave this validation message for there. I'm going to do the same thing though here. I'm going to do text and text. And I could wrap the whole thing in text if I really wanted to. It doesn't really matter. In fact, I'm going to do this. It's kind of a cheat here. And then a text here. OK, 
Okay, so we're just kind of sprucing things up a little bit. Now let's go ahead and refresh our page and that looks a heck of a lot better. So now we have our our little colons. We've got the spaces in our uh, first name and last name and phone number. Everything looks a lot better than that. Now, some of you may be going, well, this doesn't look much like a web page. I am looking for something to look a little bit nicer, have different parts, kind of a layout. Maybe you're thinking about, you know, how to get a real solid layout to look nice to your users. We will be covering that later on when we talk about Bootstrap. Bootstrap is a way for you to format your pages to look nice and have a good flowing layout. So if you're curious at all, if you've been wondering up to this point, when are we going to actually have some decent looking pages? I promise you that we will get to that at a later time. But for right now, now you at least know how to set your display names for your properties. And you also know using the text tag that you can actually kind of identify that even though we are saying with this semi or with this colon that we are trying to do explicit text afterwards. We kind of negate that by wrapping this in text tags. So there you go. Just a little extra something for those of you guys that are watching all these videos. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to drop me those questions in the comment section below this video, and I'll be happy to answer them. Until I see you guys at the next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching.